stop asking black coaches how they feel about there being only one black head coach and start asking white general managers and white owners how they feel. At the owners meeting a few years ago, we took a picture and I looked around and there was one black GM. And I go, there's something wrong with this. This, this is, we're off here. You know, we're off. It's a stain on the league right now that we have one black head coach. Are we just putting a, a black man in a, in a position of power and saying, hey, you're just gonna be the face and say, we check the box and you know, you're a GM, but you don't get to, to choose who you get to bring with you. But there also needs to be a huge focus on making sure that we have black men and black women that head up the business side of these organizations. Our locker room are filled with guys that look like us. And a lot of times you walk into a team meeting room and a lot of the people in authoritative positions that are talking to you don't look like you. So when there's vacancies, there's a, a ton of candidates that are interviewed. The Rooney Rule, there's a, a ton of minority candidates that are always interviewed. And you're just hoping that, hey, as these years continue to turn over, you're seeing more diversity in, in those roles. Following the killing of George Floyd in 2020, we saw what some considered a racial awakening in this country. I recall talking to friends at that time and wondering, is this a movement or is this a moment? I think looking back now, it feels like a movement. 2020 was a flashpoint. In 2021, we saw people getting at it. We saw them trying to operationalize equity. Everybody's reaching out, what can I do? Um, and we also saw backlash. And for you to truly have a movement, if you're doing something, you will see backlash. And we are seeing backlash.